Hey, this is Sonic Eclectic Vision. My man, tell me, why are you here? What's going on? Say your name and what's going on. Well, I'm uh, David Cochise Harris from Walter Hill's classic movie, The Warriors Come Out and Play. Now, we, we've heard Puffy take, a, a, like, I think one of the intros of what, uh, one of the songs he did with Biggie had the uh, come out and play. There's, yes. there's tons of people oh, yeah. Shaq, that have imitated. Many, many, a lot of NBA players. For instance, Shaq is one of his favorite movies and lines. A lot of NFL players, a lot, just a lot of sports people. A lot of people are just into uh, come out and play. I mean, even movies, they have like this mystery DJ and you see the lips. I mean, I've seen it in cartoons. How do you feel that you're a part of such a classic that so many people grab from? It's, you know, it's a great honor. I mean, you know, just to work with Walter, have worked with Walter Hill and work with all the guys, the Warriors. We became brothers. We're still very tight. After 30 years, we see each other. We take care of each other. I mean, it's just a, it was a, it's, a, it's an amazing thing to uh, know that the Warriors are still going very strong from generation to generation. Rockstar came out with the video game. They used all of our original voices for the video game. And young generation after generation is just watching this movie and like typical Halloween, and like everybody dress, dressing up as the Warriors and all the different gangs in the Warriors. So it's just, it's just a phenomenon. Now, friends and family, do they bug out when they see people trying to, you know, copy your little moves and your voice and, and the look and everything? At, at this point now, they're all used to it, so they're just like on the bandwagon. It's like all good. <laughs> Now, is it true there's supposed to be a remake of The Warriors? Well, we hope not. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. This is such a classic movie. There's certain movies that you just don't want to remake, like The Warriors, The Godfather, certain movies that, you know, it's just, it's just, you just leave it alone. And we hope that they'll leave The Warriors alone. Yeah, I don't know how you could, I mean, um, between the graffiti and uh, the subway system and the whole vibe, I mean, there was this uh, social consciousness that was kind of buried underneath the, the storyline, but it was very prevalent there. How can you re reproduce that today? Well, you can't because New York is not the same anymore. I mean, you don't have the great graffiti artists around the city anymore, and it's, the city's been whitewashed. All of it is gone. It's a whole different flavor. The, the era of the 70s, that whole disco era that what we had when the Warriors came out, doesn't, does not exist anymore. So the city has changed. It's gone through metamorphosis. 42nd Street is now Disneyland. When I when I came when I came up, it was you know a lot of unseedy characters around 42nd Street and unseedy movie theaters and a lot of unseedy activities going on. But that's all gone. Right, right. It's a new New York. Right. Now you have Spider Man. Yes. And the uh, naked cowboy. Yes, and you know naked cowboy in Disneyland. Like I said, you know, and people dress up as Muppets and puppets and you know, you know Ernie and Bert and cookie monster you know you know so so wh when can we see you next for all the fans that say you know what wow i like this interview i want to meet this guy i want to find out and maybe get maybe get a copy of the the dvd okay. wh wh where can we find you okay come out and see me uh march 5th 2016 at a show called the big apple show you can find it on social media it's called the big apple show me and five other warriors will be there, so come out and play, eh? and come and get David Cochise Harris's autograph. Awesome. Thank you.